In this video, you'll see how a UiPath robot works to input data from an invoice into SAP. The robot will open the MPO invoices folder in Outlook. It will open the email and download the invoice, which is a standard readable PDF file. The robot will go on to open the PDF in the background and extract the relevant information. Company name, invoice date, invoice reference number, description, taxable amount, tax rate, total amount, and contact information. Let's run the workflow in the debug mode so we can see the details of how the robot is performing the work. The debug mode is a very slow mode so we can see what happens step by step. On the left hand side, we have the UiPath Studio running the robot, highlighting the activities being executed and listed in the output pane. At first, the robot will open up the email, save the attached invoice and it will extract the needed information. Now, the robot looks inside the folder, gets the PDF file, and reads the text from the PDF. Now the robot goes on to extract the information from the file, the reference number, the invoice date, and so on. The robot is also performing some basic data conversion and format changes so that the input in SAP is valid. As you can see in highlight and in the output pane, the robot extracts the amount the taxable amount, the tax rate, the full name of the person, the description, and also the company name. Extracting the data from the PDF is done. Now the robot opens the SAP application and logs in using the username and the password, which is encrypted. After logging into SAP, the robot searches if the vendor exists by going to the Vendors tab, typing the vendor's name and checking if there's an entry for this vendor in SAP. In this case, the vendor is already registered in the system, so the robot clicks OK and fills in the company code. Then it selects all information and clicks OK. Now the robot goes back twice. It then types FB60, the code for entering incoming invoices in SAP. Now, in entering vendor invoice pane, the robot selects the vendor by its name and starts inputting the data extracted from the PDF. When watching this, you have to remember that this is done in debug slow mode. The actual robot is much faster, depending on the application loading speed. In the background mode, when working with PDFs or Excel applications, the robot does data extraction and processing almost instantly. Finally, the robot clicks on Simulate and then on Complete to park the invoice in SAP, and the SAP job is done. You can see in the output pane that the robot goes back to Outlook and sends an email confirming that the invoice was processed correctly. This is an optional step.
As you can see, the robot also moved the email containing the invoice from the NPO invoices folder to the processed folder. The robot is now ready to fetch another email from the NPO invoices folder and start processing it. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, contact us at www.uipath.com.